Welcome to our first tutorial. We're going to show you today how to submit cards on our website for grading submissions. We get asked on the right way to do it all the time. We see the same common errors, so we want to make sure we clear them up so people understand what to do and figured that shooting out a quick tutorial about it would possibly help. So this is the first of many tutorials that we're going to put out. We want to make sure that we get you all the information to make everything as easy as possible for you. So make sure you subscribe so you can see everything that we're doing. Uh, follow us here and on Instagram. Probably going to post these over there also. And um, let's get started. So as you can see, we're on our website. We're on our website over here. Um, scroll down to our submission form. You'll see that we have a Luis Robert Mega, Mega Box Chrome over here ready to go. I have about six or seven cards. This is going to be a bulk Mod, ultra modern submission that we're going over and um, just gonna get started with my name email address phone number Instagram name pop those in there if you don't have one so be it all the top three are required the next one's not bulk this is a 2017 and newer ultra modern submission again we're gonna pick ultra modern we have the two levels it's just it's two picks just because we need it there for to make the website work properly Next section is the outgoing tracking number. This is more for you, for you than us. Um, we don't, we we don't currently confirm when every package comes in, so we want you to know when it's here. So all you have to do is type in your tracking number, then we know that you have a copy of it. Um, if you don't do that, we don't know you have it, but we also don't require it. So it's really on you whether you want to put it in there or not. So let's just get started on the list, so you see how we do it. Again, example right here. We do have. I'm going to go over our card real quick. We do have a little cheat area over here where you can, where you can sort of check it out. Card list example will give you examples. And then we have a little diagram right here on how to do it. So let's bring this back over so we can see our card and we can see what we're doing. So we're going to start. Let's get started on the Luis Robert over here. 2018 Bowman Chrome Mega Box. Everything on top first, BCP21, no number sign. Luis Roberts, declared value $99. So declared value, another question we get a lot. Declared value is what you think the card is worth in the grade that it gets. So we recommend putting it in as a nine. If it's a $200 card, it's a nine or a 10. Put it in the bulk if you really want to wait and want to spend the least money possible. Put it in for $99. You'll only get off charges if it's consistently selling over $250 maybe even 300 at some point. So I would definitely, you could definitely put some cards in there. Um, the first mistake that we see a lot is the number sign. It messes up with the PSA algorithm a little bit, so it makes it a little bit harder for our team to enter your cards. So that's why, never put the number sign. The next mistake that we see a lot is that we see folks are not, are putting it, they are putting in both years instead of just one year for basketball cards. See what the slab says? That'll be your that'll be your guide. Panini Prism. It says 2019, only 2019. So that's all you put. Stephen Curry, orange ice, $99. Okay. All right. As you see with the Stidham, the Stidham over here. I'm gonna just give you a little zoom on that, a little focus on that. The Stidham is numbered. You can put the numbering if you want. It is not required. Um, we don't put it in, but if you want to make sure you if you want to do it, feel free to. It doesn't slow us down. All right, so let's uh, let's get this one entered. So 2019 Panini Select 75 Jarrett Stidham Maroon Prism $50. All right, put it in. I'm just using graded cards already because it's easy to show you the references that I'm using um, when we're doing it, so you guys could learn how to do it when you put them in. All right, so for this one, we're going to pretend we needed a min grade. We want a min grade 9 on it. So we only want to get this card back if it's graded a 9. So we're, all we have to do is we have to throw a, throw a min grade at the end of the listing. Prestige, 232, Patrick, Mahomes, I, I, 50, MG, 9. You could write min grade, you could write min, you could write a bunch of different things. That's all we need to know, right? So, that one's easy. All right, now for this one, we actually have two of these cards. 
So let's show what we want you to do for two. So this is a, let's say this is a $99 card. Again, we're going to do two, 2019, Panini, Donruss, Optic, 170, Cream Reddish, Purple Shock. And now since we're doing two of them and they're, they're $99, we're going to just multiply. So this will make it easier if you guys think that you need to put list the same one over and over and over and over and over again. You don't need to. Just put it in once and write the quantity in the front of it, and then we know what it is. So notice how Purple Shock is the parallel in this one. That's why it goes at the end. This next, this Luca card is a Net Marvels card, so that's an insert, not a parallel. So it's going to be a little bit different for this one. So 2019, Panini, Donruss, Net Marvels, 17. Luka Doncic, $99 again. Again, declared value is whatever you want it to be. Okay, so now we have seven cards, so we're gonna go total card submitted, seven. Insurance, I'm gonna put 500 bucks of insurance on it. It's up to you what you wanna do. Uh, priority flat rate mailer, anything under 35 cards, priority flat rate mailer is fine. Friend, I'm my own friend, so I'm gonna do myself. Um, 133.56 is the, is the estimated cost, $10. Um, if I put this down to zero, then my cost goes down to 119.15. So you can play with that however you want. Um, so now I'm just going to hit send. Circle, 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 circle. Thank you for submitting. You're going to get an email that says where you, that it says your cards are sent in. You can print that out and put it with your cards. You don't have to. It makes it a little bit easier for us. Um, but you don't really have to. As long as your name is on the on the uh, outside of the box, we're good to go. So, thank you guys very much for watching this. We will be doing a lot more of these. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can see when we post them. Comment below if we helped you out. Comment below if we didn't help you out. Or if you're still confused about something. If there's something specific that you want us to do a tutorial about, again, comment below and let us know. Thanks so much, guys.